Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Arthur and you're watching Dirt Hammers Off-Road Media. Today I just want to talk to you about uh, re-gearing your Jeep and uh, we'll do a little demonstration and show you um, how the 456 gears perform in my Jeep and um, try to give you an idea of what to select in your um, process here. Uh, just a little bit of information about my Jeep. Uh, it is a 2015 JKU. Uh, it is on 35 inch uh, tires. Um, Two and a half inch suspension lift. Uh, the Jeep is uh, some of the equipment makes it kind of heavy. It's got steel uh, bumpers, aftermarket front and rear, uh, aftermarket tire carrier. We have a winch up front. We got skid plates. We got aftermarket control arms. We have uh, the one ton steering kit. Not to mention all the gear that we actually have uh, in the back of the Jeep and all the light force lights uh, that we have uh, outfitted on the Jeep. So the Jeep is kind of heavy. Um, I'm sure there's guys out there that's running a, a heavier Jeep, but the Jeep is pretty heavy and uh, it is a manual transmission, okay, and I'm running the Yukon 456 gears, front and back obviously, and the Yukon uh, Grizzly lockers. I do have Tom Woods uh, drive shafts uh, in the front. I haven't installed my rear Tom Woods uh, 1350 yet. That's coming up soon. Um, so the Jeep has a lot of aftermarket accessories and equipment, but I wanted to show you in this video how well the Jeep performs out on the road and actually um, the benefit of having re-geared the Jeep and using the 456 gears with a 35 inch tire. Um, I'm running 70 miles an hour and I'm running 25 to 2600 RPMs, which is right in line with what a lot of the charts uh, show you. I'm sure you've seen those charts. Uh, I'll try to drop a link uh, below um, that will link you to those charts that covers the earlier JKUs that or JKs and JKUs that had a 3.8 liter and then the newer ones that had the 3.6. Uh, obviously mine's a 2015 with a 3.6 liter and um, you know there's a lot of debate online should, I, should you go 488s, should you go fi uh, 456s a lot of it depends on where you live too. Um, if I lived out west at higher elevation, 488 gears with my 35 inch tires and manual transmission, um, maybe that was a really great uh, choice. But here in the southeast, uh, elevation is not much of a concern. So the 456, 456 gears have been performing great. So uh, let's take a little drive and uh, I'll show you the uh, speed and the RPM uh, when we get out on the interstate. So let's take a drive. Just gave you a look we just took a ride down interstate uh, we were in six gear overdrive and we're running 70 miles an hour and we're turning 25 2600 rpms which seems to be pretty much spot on with what a lot of the charts um, recommend for my ear jeep my engine my transmission my type my size tire so when selecting gears um, for your jeep you know maybe take into consideration are you going to do some towing how heavy is the jeep also the altitude that you're at so you may need to talk to your local shop get some recommendations from there manual transmission versus automatic but definitely um, the Yukon uh, 456 gears have been perfect for my application I can actually go off-road now and actually uh, with the Yukon Grizzly locker and two-wheel drive the Jeep is so much more capable so I'm able to do so many more trail obstacles um, and maintain um, momentum, actually be able to attack things on the trail in two-wheel drive that I could never do before. And actually four high is now usable for uh, slippery, muddy terrain where before I could never use four high just because the Jeep was geared so high. 
and uh, four low is now just awesome for crawling you can put it in first gear and crawl over anything nice and slow you can get out and walk beside the Jeep the thing is hard to stall so all around the Yukon 456 gears have been a perfect for my application so hey guys if you have any questions I'd be glad to try to answer those for you drop your comments below and um, again thanks for watching make sure you subscribe like the video and share it